Hey guys, Hobo4Craft, aka Mr. Hobo here, and today I'm going to be showing you Zerg players how to use Nidus Worm effectively, or, or not Nidus Worm, uh, Nidus Network actually, excuse me. And I'm just going to jump into this replay really quick here. And, uh, so it is uh, Zerg versus Protoss here. And I'm just going to be speeding this up because my Nidus Network does not come into play until about mid early late game uh... but yeah just going uh... pretty standard thirteen pool fifteen hatch my opponent's gonna be going uh... four gate transition into immortals uh... immortal sentry stalker composition i believe so uh... yeah pretty standard on desert oasis which has to be one of my least favorite uh... solo maps just because this expo is so far out here and uh, it's a pain to defend but uh, night not with Nidus network ho ho but uh, yeah so you can see my opponent just going I guess it's three gate right now maybe he does get a, another gate uh, later on and uh, yeah but uh, pretty standard gameplay up uh, up until I do get my Nidus networks, which I do think are completely underused and underrated. And, um, actually, I want to go back here and point something out. My my opponent, as you can see, actually did use War Prism to harass uh, while attacking me here. Um, I did uh, see it coming, though, because I had this uh, Zergling here, but I do think this also is very underused. Oh using your warp prism to harass because one you can drop units in obviously but two you can also uh, warp units in uh, with your warp gates and it can be very useful so I think it's like really underused and it can be very effective in harassing and Protoss should incorporate it in their play a lot more but that's just my two cents on warp prism but I'm just gonna speed it back up here uh, wait till I get this uh, Nidus network, which will be coming out right here. And Nidus network especially helpful when you have very slow units uh, like Hydralis that can't really um, be very mobile around the map unless you have creep. But I mean, really, you only get creep to about here max in a normal game, and normally none of this is ever used for creep because this isn't your normal path to get to your enemy okay whoa 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 okay now I gotta I gotta hide myself here so you can see right now I did get my Nidus network up and I am going right behind his base and he does has have visibility of this it's just a little red dot um, some it's about the size of an overlord or so so some people might mistake it for that and not even pay attention uh, a good player, player definitely will look over it, but uh, the build time is so short that uh, some people don't even get to react in time. But uh, it's my preference to, well, I, I guess it's my preference to be able to harass the pro blind uh, of my opponent, uh, just because obviously it uh, halts their economy and uh, allows me to pull ahead in that sense because I'm a big macro kind of guy and another thing you can do normally this pylon won't be here normally be just around this line that the Protoss player uh, will have a sense of sight and you can destroy a lot of tech buildings you see uh, robotics or Twilight Council and robotics bay right there cybernetics core and pick off some pylons as well uh, I do like to do that as well, but all you have to do just uh, get get an overseer, uh, so you don't have to buy that uh, that uh, pneumatized carapace. Uh, I don't know why they don't just call it speed, <laughs> but um, yeah, you don't have to buy that, or or you could, so you could use all your overlords. But my, my preference is just one overseer because you can also use a changeling uh, to get that uh, changeling in. And, um, so yeah, I'm going to be harassing his probe line here. Just, uh, going to go ahead and show you guys how it pans out from here. And you can see, you basically can fit in a virtually infinite amount of, uh, units 
into the Ninus Worm. You can just see I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four probes here. And all those probes come off the line, halt his economy completely. And then I'm actually going to pick up his Nexus. And I'm just going to go to the Resources tab. So, <laughs> right now you can see, or Income, I'm going to go to Income. You can see, just watch the income. I'm at 1,000 and he's at 700, 600 now. And uh, here, maybe I should go back to before all that damage was done. Okay, so we're about even right now. He's at about, we're both at about 1,000. And then after this, he drops to about 600. So you can see how much damage that did. Uh, I wanted to stay and try and see if I could win right there, but... Uh, his his uh, unit composition was much stronger than mine, so I backed off. And the nice thing is, all your units are safe. You get in, get out, nothing too extreme uh, is uh, blasted away from your army. And uh, it's pretty clean. And right away, I'm going from his main to the back of his expo. And I'm just going to be continually harassing. And... Later on in the game, you're going to see that Nidus Network isn't only effective when used as uh, a harassing tool. And you can see I'm just uh, pumping 